Thanks for checking out this video. So let's get into it. What is coming to Shutter in the month of March? Now, just so everyone knows up front, uh, all of the films that are Shutter Originals or Shutter Exclusives, I end up getting screeners for. So I have no spoiler reviews that come out the week that those are hitting Shutter, usually the Monday, and those usually come out on Thursday. So you know that you can come to my channel and those will always be available. I mean, they have been. Fingers crossed. So anyway, uh, the first one, uh, Shutter, uh, it's an original, I don't know, Shutter original, yes, Shutter original, sorry. Uh, coming March 4th is the film Lucky, which actually, this will be my second time watching it. I saw it the first time when Shutter did like a midnight preview type thing for their Shutter Fest back in October. So I already saw this movie once. I definitely, at the end of watching that, was like, I need to see that again to really formulate my opinion on it. So I'm glad that I'm able to do this and put out a no, no spoiler review for it. So Lucky review, or the Lucky uh, little teaser says, Life takes a sudden turn for May, a popular self-help book author, when she finds herself the target of a mysterious man with murderous intentions. Every night, without fail, he comes after her, and every day, the people around her barely seem to notice. With no one to turn to, May is pushed to her limits and must take matters into her own hands to survive and to regain control of her life. Now, if you were a fan of the acting of Bria Grant in the film After Midnight, which, if you haven't seen After Midnight yet, it's on Shutter right now. Definitely watch it. It's very good. Uh, Bria Grant is in this as well. I think she also wrote and directed it. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. She didn't direct it, but she did write it. So she wrote it and is acting in it. So uh, the next film is a Shudder uh, original called Stay Out of the Attic. That's coming March 11th. Uh, a diverse group of ex-cons turned movers played by, it doesn't matter who it is, are convinced by their creepy, uh, creepy client, Vern Muller, to pull an all-nighter for a generous pay bump. As the night progresses and rooms are cleared, they slowly uncover the horrors that exist inside his old Victorian mansion, including booby traps, human experimentation, Nazi monsters, and more. Will they survive the night? That sounds awesome. I definitely want to check that out. That sounds great. So that one's also available in UK, uh, Canada, and Australia, New Zealand. Lucky, also UK, Canada, Australia, New, New Zealand, just so people know. The next one I'm very excited for, Slacks, spelled S-L-A-X-X. -X. I saw a trailer for this a while ago. It looks ridiculous and stupid and fun, so I'm excited. Uh, this is a Shutter original coming March 18th. Uh, here we go. A possessed pair of jeans is brought to life to punish the unscrupulous practices of a trendy clothing company. Shipped to the company's flagship store, Slacks proceeds to wreak carnage on staff locked in overnight to set up the new collection. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. That is also available in UK and Australia and New Zealand. Sorry, Canada. Not getting that one, unfortunately. This one, this next one, has been on my list of films to check out, so I'm glad that I'm getting this for a screener as well, and it will be on Shutter. It's coming March 18th, and it is a Shutter exclusive called Coco D. Coco Da. Uh, also available in Canada for Canada and Australia and New Zealand. Sorry, UK is not involved. As an unhappy couple uh, embark on a camping trip to find their way back to each other, a sideshow artist and his shady entourage emerge from the woods, terrorizing them, luring them deeper into a maelstrom of psychological terror and humiliating slapstick. Sounds very interesting. And this came highly recommended from Rue Morgue magazine. They had an article about it, and it sounded very cool. That's how it ended up on my list of films to check out. Uh, then a Shudder original film coming March 25th called Violation. Uh, with her marriage on the verge of collapse, Miriam returns to her hometown to seek solace in the comfort of her younger sister and brother-in-law after years apart. In one evening, a small slip in judgment leads to a catastrophic betrayal, leaving Miriam shocked, reeling and furious. She embarks on an extreme course of action to address the situation, but the price of revenge is high and she is not prepared for the toll it takes as she begins to emotionally and psychologically unravel. Interesting. Uh, that's also for the UK and Australia and New Zealand. Then uh, they're continuing to drop one-by-one one episodes of Season 2 of A Discovery of Witches. I'm not going to go into that one because I'm not doing that because I haven't seen the first season. So, yeah, just know that. All right, so now to the movies coming. Uh, so March 1st, 
They will be adding again the burning. The burning was there, I think, in like, I think they put it up in like August, September time uh, in 2020. So the burning, a former summer camp caretaker horribly burned from a prank gone wrong, lurks around an upstate New York summer camp bent on killing the teenagers responsible for his disfigurement. Also available for Canada. Um, I do recommend seeing that. Uh, it is very interesting. It's one of those kind of lesser seen, lesser talked about slasher films that's definitely worth at least one watch. I know a lot of people who say this is their favorite slasher film. Not the case for me. For me, it's probably My Bloody Valentine, but yeah. Um, also March 1st, Amityville 2, The Possession. A dysfunctional family moves into a new, a new house, which proves to be satanic, resulting in the demonic possession of their teenage son. Also available for Canada. Also the first, The Devils. In 17th century France, Father Urbain Grandier seeks to protect the city of Loudon from the corrupt establishment of Cardinal Richelieu. Oh, that's a familiar name from Three Musketeers. Hysteria occurs within the city when he is accused of witchcraft by a sexually repressed nun. It's from 1971. That sounds interesting. I guess that's US only because it doesn't say anyone else. Uh, that I might want to check that one out. March 8th, uh, Sword of God. Two men in the early Middle Ages come to a pagan land, one to bring Christianity, the other to find his way of living. In the fight between dialogue and force, one of them will die. Sounds interesting enough. Also available for Canada. Also coming the 8th, uh, this is one I've been wanting to watch, Edge of the Axe. An axe murderer terrorizes a small northern California mountain community while two young computer-obsessed adults attempt to solve the killings. Sounds interesting. Uh, also available for the UK and Canada. Also coming on the 8th, Vampires, not spelled with an I, spelled with a Y. Two mysterious women lure various passers-by to their rural mansion in the English countryside and hold them captive in order to feed on them to satisfy their insatiable thirst for blood. It's from the 70s, so I might want to check that out. Also available for the UK and Canada. Coming March 9th, Prey. After the death of her sister, Elena, a young quadriplegic, retires to a country house with her father and Athos, a Belgian shepherd dog especially trained to help her. But the creature who is supposed to be her best friend has contracted a strange disease and has turned into her worst enemy. Hmm. Also available for Canada. Also, March 9th, Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. That's a cool title. Uh, an orphaned teenager finds himself being dominated by his aunt, who is hell-bent on keeping him with her at all costs. From 1981. I think I want to check that out. Uh, also available for UK, Canada, and Australia, New Zealand. So everyone's getting this one. Coming March 15th, Hosts. A family falls victim to a series of violent murders when they invite their neighbors over for Christmas dinner. It's a 2020 film, so it's very recent. Uh, also available for Canada and Australia and New Zealand. Also March 15th, It Cuts Deep. While on Christmas vacation, a young man with commitment issues tries desperately to hang on to his relationship when a rival enters the picture. Also from 2020. Uh, also available for the UK, Canada, and Australia and New Zealand. We're all getting it. Then Game of Death is also coming March 15th. Kill or be killed is the golden rule of the Game of Death which sucks for seven decent-looking millennials who decide to play one sunny day. They quickly and gruesomely realize that if they don't murder people, their heads will literally explode. That's from 2017. I, I'm vaguely aware of this film. I am interested in seeing it. Also available for Canada. Shockma, also coming the 15th. Students are trapped with a testy bab baboon while playing a fantasy game in a research building. Short and sweet. Uh, also available in Canada. Uh, March 16th, a film I definitely need to see because I've been meaning to see it for quite some time now. The original Nosferatu from 1922. In this highly influential silent horror film, the mysterious Count Orlock summons Thomas Hutter to his remote Transylvania castle in the mountains. After Orlock reveals his vampire nature, Hutter struggles to escape the castle knowing that he and his wife are in grave danger. Also available for Canada and the UK. I definitely want to check that out, because like I said, it's been on my list. Uh, another one that's been on my list that's an old, influential film that I definitely need to see and it have been meaning to, from 1921, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. At a carnival in Germany, France, and his... At a, at, sorry. At a carnival in Germany, 
Francis and his friend Alan encounter the crazed Dr. Caligari. The men see Caligari showing off a hypnotized man who the doctor claims to see, can see in the, into the future. Shockingly, Cesar then predicts Alan's death, and by morning, his chilling prophecy has come true, making Cesar the prime suspect. However, is Cesar guilty, or is the doctor controlling him? Also available for Canada. Also coming on the 16th, The Great Gabo from 1929. I'm not familiar with this one, but since it's an older influential one, I'll probably have to check it out. The Great Gabo is a mentally unstable ventriloquist who brutally, brutally demeans his assistant Mary, blaming her for the duo's lack of success. Fed up with his abuse, she quits, only to find herself performing as a dancer in a major stage show featuring Gabo two years later. Though she is now married, Gabo makes a play for her. When she rejects him, his madness returns, and he begins to speak only through his puppet. Also coming to Canada, UK, and Australia, New Zealand. Cool. And then also on the 16th, I have seen this one, and I do recommend it, because it's the first time zombies ever showed up in film. Uh, 1932's White Zombie. Uh, it's pretty solid, for especially for being that old. A young man turns to a witch doctor to lure women, the woman he loves away from her fiancé, but instead turns her into a zombie slave. It's good. For that time period. Coming March 22nd, Let's Scare Julie. A group of teen girls set out to scare their reclusive new neighbor, but the prank turns to terror when some of them don't come back. That's a 2019 film, so very recent. Also available in Canada. Oh, and did I say that White Zombie is also available in Canada, UK, and Australia New Zealand? Okay. Also coming March 22nd, White of the Eye. Joan White is informed by the police that her husband, a sound man who specializes in high-end audio systems, might be responsible for a series of gruesome murders in their Arizona community. As her husband's behavior turns violent, Joan begins to suspect his guilt. Interesting. I think I want to check that out. Also available for Canada. And the last film, also coming on the 22nd, The Untamed. A couple in a troubled marriage lo locate a meteorite, initiating an encounter with a mysterious creature. Their lives are turned upside down by the discovery of the creature, which is a source of both pleasure and destruction. It's a 2016 film, so kind of recent, also available for Canada. So there you have it. That is everything coming to Shudder uh, in March. So let me know, people. What are you most excited about? Put it down here. I don't think it's their strongest sounding month, but I'm very excited for things like Nosferatu, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, so that I have those as, you know, a good base of knowledge for myself. But I'm very interested in Slacks because it looks so ridiculous and I'm all in for stuff like that. So, yeah, put some comments down there. Let's talk about it. Um, also, like I said, just a reminder for all of these Shutter exclusive and original films, I will have spoiler-free reviews out the Monday of the week that they come out because they always come out on Thursdays. So just know that. Uh, but thank you very much for checking this out. Do me a quick favor, though. Hit the subscribe button. If you like this video or any video I've ever done, that is your way to repay me because I'm not doing this for money or anything. Just trying to build a nerdy horror community, and I appreciate if you join it. So hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you know whenever I'm putting up any new video. But regardless, thank you for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.